okay next we'll start with the next example okay so next uh, we are going to see about sequence within okay so look at here okay so in initial block we have designed clock and all the signals to zero and after that we are forcing a value like this 25 at the time unit of 50 like that and it is for b in this initial block is for b and this initial block is for c okay now this is for d now look at here what is our sequence in sequence 2 c after d okay in sequence 3 a within s2 sequence s2 okay so a should be within that s2 so we know what is within operation right so we'll going to see uh, whether these properties will going to satisfy or not okay now we'll compile and execute this within look at here what uh, we know that sequence s2 okay sequence s2 is true only from here to here within that if a is true then only we will get the assertion as paused right okay here we have used within one and within two what is this here we are using sequence within one and here we are using sequence within okay so here in this uh, assert property it is showing at passage of clock s3 so that means actually what's happening we are using s2 here first we'll uh, uh, see the first one okay a sequence S2 okay here S2 is what S2 is this one okay C after one clock cycle D should occur okay D should occur D should occur okay now uh, D should occur that is what uh, sequence S2 now within is uh, what uh, S3 what is S3 S3 is A should occur within s2 okay now this is what we are going to concentrate within okay look at this waveform in this waveform this waveform what's happening uh, s2 okay s2 within that s2 a should occur where a is occurring here right here only it starts to occur but if you look at here here also we are having two uh, upward upward uh, green color triangle right so here also we are having a, va a value as i that's why you are getting two pa assertion passed after that if you look at here here you will get full assertion passed okay now we're going to see about the second one sequence within e one okay now here what is uh, what's happening here in sequence one a bar within s2 now we'll see this one a bar within C. So, what is A bar? A bar within C. It is, it, this is sequence 2. In that sequence 2, if A is 0, then you will get assertion passed. Okay. And that too, what we have to check? At what clock cycle you are getting, right? Okay. Now, if you look at here, e from here itself, started. Okay. Now, A bar the next passage of clock passage of clock it is checking a a bar a bar and a bar passage of clock and s2 is also it's within right getting here okay getting this one
okay so this is all about within statement next we'll see the next example okay the next example is what 